Today, I continue learning English through another clip from French a literature class. So in this clip, Phoebe joined a literature class. Um, the class is about reading a, a book and then people will discuss about what is it about, how is the character doing, what's the theme that the actors want to send to people send a message what kind of message that the actors send to people and phoebe is so excited to ask rachel to come to the class with her the thing is that when rachel uh, for the first book rachel said um you know i read it in high school so phoebe was so excited but in reality rachel never read that book and she asked phoebe about the books of, of what is the book about uh, and phoebe shared with her um that the book is about a, is about a tragic love between one man and one woman. And the love is at the creepy moors in England. That's why um, maybe that's the reason why the actor's signal is, is very um, wide. And uh, Rachel, it is kind of a symbolism from the author and Rachel kind of copied the same say the same ideas expressing in class and she gets the accomplishment the compliments from teacher but when the teacher turns out to Phoebe she has no idea to talk about so she's just uh, very dumb and that uh, she copied the same what just repeat what the teacher repeated what the teacher is talking um, and she's so embarrassed. Uh, so they kind of have a small fight, but Rachel is very free. She said, I don't want to be embarrassed in class like you, em embarrassing in class like you. So the second time when they came to class and Rachel continues not to read the book, uh, did not read the book, um, she read book instead. Uh, so Phoebe tried to trick her. Uh, she, I think she made up a very stupid story about uh, characters in the book that the, she does not think, at first she thinks, at first the characters think that she is a human being, but in reality, she is a kind of a robot, a cyborg. Um, and she, Phoebe said that this book is lie years ahead of time. So when Rachel, it is one more time, she discussed about the idea of the book. Uh, she said that, oh, it is the ahead of time. At first, the teacher think that it is from feminism, but no. Uh, Rachel said, oh, yeah, other than feminism, there is a robot. And that that is the fun, fun idea, the fun fact. No, not the fun fact, the, the hilarious scene from Friends. Okay, let's dive into the clip and study. At the beginning of this video, Phoebe tells her friends she's taking a class. I still hear students say, I'm having a class or I go to a class, when what they mean is that they are taking a class on something. Do you remember what class Phoebe is taking? I'm taking a literature class at the new school. And by the way, this is a truly difficult word to pronounce. It's literature. So did you notice how the T in the second syllable is the sound? Leader, literator, literator. And the other T sounds like literature, 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 literature. Honey, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Sounds like fun is a great way to react when someone describes what they are doing or plan to do. Well, yeah, but then I remember I started it, but then there was a this pep rally and I was I was on the top of the pyramid. A pep rally is a gathering of people who want to show their support and enthusiasm, especially for a sports team before a game. Something you will see at a pep rally is a large is a group of cheerleaders. And what Rachel means is on the top of the pyramid is like in this slide. What's the book about? What's the book about? What's the book about? When it comes to speaking, and especially speaking fluently, chunking is very important. What this means is in this case is that Rachel says this whole question says one chunk. Hold on, let me write down 
uh, sounds like fun here. So next time I can know sounds like fun. Okay, right here. Okay, continue, continue. What's the book about? When it comes to speaking and especially speaking fluently, chunking is very important. What this means is in this case is that Rachel says this whole question is one chunk, meaning in one go uh, without pauses. The trickiest part is mastering the connection in what's the, but just a little practice repeating that a few times will help. What's the, what's the book about? It takes place on these really creepy moors in England. More in England. And maybe we can study the word moot boy at the same time. Uh, when we talk about a story and we say that it takes place in a certain time or place, we're saying that it happens in a certain time and place. The Craig Gatsby text play in New York in the 1920s. Moors refer to a particular landscape in England. Here Phoebe describes the moors as creepy, meaning strange and making you feel frightened, which I think represents the oneness of Heathcliff's character. Heathcliff's character. So the word creepy here, we can remember the about the clip that Rachel and Phoebe were taking a, a karate class. Uh, which, which I think represent the oneness of Heathcliff's character. I totally guess symbolism. She describes the character of the novel as wide. This means he might express strong and controlled emotions, especially anger, happiness, or excitement. In some pieces of literature, certain objects or ideas may symbolize something concrete. This is what is meant by symbolism. That's not a given, but yes, that's not a given. That's not a given. Uh, say, say the obvious. A given is a basic fact that you accept as being true. And the oneness of the moors, which I think is mirrored in the oneness of um, Heathcliff's character. As a verb, if one thing mirrors another, it is very similar to it and may seem to copy or represent it. The book mirrored my interests and experiences. Excellent, what Rachel has truly observed here truly observed here. True means astute uh, or having sharp judgment, astute, very clear and quick at seeing what to do in a particular situation, especially how to get an advantage. Shrewd. Rachel made a shrewd observation or we could say that she truly observed something. To observe means to say or write what you have noticed about a situation. Would you care to venture one? The professor asked Phoebe if she would care to do something. This is a sentence structure we use to ask someone politely whether they want to do something. To venture means to say or do something that involves risk or uncertainty. You didn't read this book one either? Do you know the difference between either and neither? I can say I read a book and then you could say I read a book too. Do you know? But if we use the negative, I didn't read the book, you can say I didn't read the book either. If my answer is negative, instead of saying me too, I could just say me neither. No, you should have. You should have. You should have read it yourself. You should have read it yourself. If your ear is not trained, you probably won't recognize that should have is the same as should have. Should have. Should have. Should have. So remember to practice your reductions. Should have. Would have. Could have. Must have. Because 90% of the time native speakers will use them. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, musta. Uh, instead of their phone forms would have. Oh, come on, Phoebe, don't be such a goody, 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 goody. If you call someone a goody, goody, you mean they behave extremely well. Um, if you call someone a goody goody, you mean they behave extremely well in order to please people in authority. Yeah, this book was lie years ahead of this time. Lie years ahead of 
is tam. Not appreciated in his own time. If something is ahead of its time, it is too advanced or modern to be understood or appreciated during a particular time. A light year refers to the distance in which light can travel in one year. So this term is used scientifically in conversations about astronomy. So if you said that something happened light years ago, you mean it happened a long time ago. When I was younger, being 50 seems light years away. Rachel and I were just discussed it and she had very interesting insights. An insight is a certain clear understanding of something, especially a complicated situation or idea. Well, um, what struck me most when reading Chen R was uh, how the book was so ahead of its time. If something strikes you, you think of it, notice it, or realize that it is important, interesting, true, etc. Notice that the past tense of this verb is struck and we sometimes use it in the collocation. What struck me the most? Why does he say it is a given? A, she is mistaken. B, it is obvious. C, it is a good insight. B, it is obvious. Which of these is the opposite of wide? A, craze. B, free. C, tame. C, tame. If something strikes you, you A, notice it. B, don't like it. C, figure it out. A, notice it. Okay, that's it.